right, it's finally come down to this, the Etie video. So some people like to think that when I dismiss units, I haven't used them. I have used every unit at least a few times throughout entire runs. And Etie is one of these units that some people prop up and say has like really good standout features in some ways because she has high strength. But frankly, she doesn't and she has a lot of problems that need to be addressed. And this whole hysteria of Etie versus Alchrist, honestly, leave Alchrist out of this. He has nothing to do with Etie's evaluation. This is a base level Alchrist. So this is Alchrist at base level, just promoted. I haven't used him at all in this run, but here are his stats. Um, he's pretty decent. He has decent bulk. He can tank a hit early on. He has enough speed for early game where he doesn't get doubled by most things and can double certain things. Uh, but this is him at base level, right? 12 strength. He can get plus 3 strength from get behind me. I, I don't think Alchris should really be compared to Etie because he is a low investment archer that you can use to help deal with flyers if you want. And she is arguably a project, right? If you want to use her, she is not going to pop off immediately. The only thing she can do early game that's relevant is shooting down flyers, and the flyers early game are not even a threat. But what else can she do? Let's say you invest in her hardcore and give her all these weapons and upgrade them all and engrave them all. What can she even do? The best builds I've seen of her are her on Warrior, right? Now this Etie hit like level 15 sniper and then I second sealed her onto Warrior eventually, but then I just kept running her even though it was painful, even though it was difficult, even though she wasn't popping off. Um, she's kind of like one of my, my, she's one of my worst combat units right now. I'm on chapter 21. I got her speed plus three. Um, she kind of just like does chip damage and sometimes goes for crits, but I feel like her combat's not there. Now let's say I had her on warrior earlier. She would just deal slightly more damage because uh, sniper versus warrior. I think sniper is still at least 10% strength growth and warrior is 20. So you're looking at like three or four more points of strength throughout all those level ups. So she would be like 34, 35 strength. Um, and her speed would be the same because sniper has good speed. It also has good decks. So she has higher decks than she normally would. So that being said, uh, this result. So the main argument for Etier is that you give her Lin. Now, Lin, <laughs> Lin is one of the best emblems in the game, and to casually give that to this unit, a unit who can't tank, a unit has bad bases, a unit whose only standout feature is strength growth, not even to high strength stat, strength growth, seems kind of silly. There's a lot of other units with higher base strength, there's a lot of other units with similar or even better strength growth, like Amber is statistically superior to Etia in every way. Um, I don't know why, I still don't understand the, the Alchrist comparison because like I view Alchrist as like a utility unit that's an archer that can shoot things down and if you want to make him into a one rounding unit you can run like Lunar Brace on him and maybe like Speed Taker passive and he should be able to one round most things with those with those two tools and that's pretty much all he needs and then for Emblem Rings you could run like Sigurd on him for Cantor and the build increase so he can use like a Brave Bow or something like that, or maybe even Leaf. So he's like a low investment, you know, throw away emblem, dump whatever extra SP books you get from the well into him. He doesn't need a lot to get online. That, that's how I view him. Whereas with her, the main argument is hand her Lin, but there's definitely better units, <laughs> like pretty much. So I did run mentorship. This is an old save file, but pretty much any unit is better than her. <laughs> so like, let's just like look at units on my team. So like my Alir has 30 strength. Uh, Tamara, she's at 24 with Ike, because Ike boosts strength. Um, Panette's at 35, obviously she's going to be higher. Marin's at 28. Uh, Gold Mary, she's just kind of like a tank with a weird build. All of these units have higher strength, have higher or similar strength. Right now she's at 28. Now if she was on Warrior, maybe she'd be like 32, 33 strength. But if her only standout feature is strength, then I have to fix everything else about her. She's really not worth using. Like, Marin is quite fast. <laughs> look at look at Marin's decks right now. 29 decks. That's ridiculous. 33 speed. 30 speed with the effect plus 3, but that's her passive. And she has speed taker, so she's going to be doubling and one-rounding a ton of things. And she's just on Silver Sword, too. So she's not even... <laughs> she's not weighed down. She's Sigurd. 
So this is like an example, like Sigurd is not a highly contested emblem. This is an example of a build that is basically like Etia, but better. Um, now she could run something else too. She doesn't necessarily need, like 45 attack isn't the best. So she could probably drop speed plus three. You don't need both of these. She could probably be running sword power instead of speed plus three or speed plus five and then drop speed taker for sword power. So there's ways to fix damage now. So even just having high strength doesn't justify using a unit anymore. I would say before the well, maybe there was some argument to be made, but giving this unit Lin, when literally any unit that's better wants Lin to, to speed fix, is questionable unless you just like the unit and just want to run the unit. Now, I will say this, this is a single player game. It doesn't matter about, like it doesn't matter if you're optimal or not. You don't have to be optimal. You can play in a crazy way, you can do as many self-imposed challenge rules and limitations as you want. You can probably still beat the game under scrutiny in this way. So she can still one round things. Most units can be built to one round things consistently, especially at this point, especially after the well. So fixing speed, fixing damage, none of it really matters. Everything can be fixed, right? Any, any problem a unit has can be min-maxed away. Any problem a unit has can be removed or mitigated by resources. So the game is more a resource management game than it is a strategy game at this point. There is still strategy in the game, but arguably if you just have crazy units that can beat the content for you and just tank and kill effortlessly and survive and you're not punished for overextending because your units are so crazy, it truly doesn't matter what you do. Uh, I think the Etsy, I like, the Etsy Alchemist thing is kind of a silly debate because it's like saying these two things start on an archer, therefore <laughs> these must be compared. But a warrior is not really an archer. A warrior can use bows, but a warrior really wants to be using axes and situationally using bows. Like this is like what Panette does. This is like her whole thing. She just like goes up and kills things. Uh, now this is a brave axe build, so the, you know player phase brave axe. Obviously crit builds better, but you know, I was just having fun in this playthrough, goofing off with different things. And I was running mentorship because this was before the well. So before the well, it was hard to get SP, and this seemingly was worth it. Uh, to some degree, it can be, but it's on a few units, and I have, like, redundant speed. Usually, you don't need speed taker. Oh, yeah, and then this Framba. <laughs> Look at this. She even has, like, 30 speed. 28 speed. Plus 3. She has build and speed. Use 11 sword. This build is actually okay. She's usually fast enough to double in one round, but you can you can turn almost anyone into anything. And I would say this Fram build was less investment than this ETA because I literally fed her entire maps just to like prove a point that you can overfeed this unit and she's still not even that good. And I do I'm pretty sure she was running Lin. She act, I know right. Let me rephrase it. She definitely was running Lin as soon as I got Lin, and she was struggling to get the doubling thresholds. And even right now, like, her speed is abysmal. Like, even if you throw Lin on her, she'll be, like, plus three to four speed at base. So she'll be, like, 20... 20 20-something speed. I don't know if this, uh... I guess this ring doesn't give speed, but she'll be, like, 24... 23, 24 speed. And this is, like, endgame, so this is not... These are... That's low. Um, like, this tank... 16 base... So she would be at like Sadal's speed and he's not even a combat unit. <laughs> With Lin at base. And then she would need to speed take. So so I could drop. Just so Marin has Sigurd. So I could drop like this for sword power. And now she can one round everything until the end of the game easily. And I can afford it too. Like I'm sure I have enough SP books on the save file to do that. But I just want to talk about ETA because there's this weird argument in the community i don't know why just these two units are compared there's a lot of units that aren't compared that are similar um that no one wants to discuss i think people are just obsessed with eta and for some reason this archer thing caught on i don't really get it uh between alchrist and eta in, if you're not exploiting the game with xp farming alchrist is just higher level and has better stats he can tank he can tank a hit better which does matter if you want to actually aggressively play. So like Etia forces you to kind of baby her a lot or use XP farming, both of which I think are kind of, you know, knock a unit down in the tier list. And ultimately the result you get is not that good compared to other things. 
So like her her bases just aren't that good. The only thing she has going for her is strength, and other units have that plus more. So that's really the issue. Uh, but that's that's it for this one. I just want to talk about Etia. Um, I don't hate the unit. I don't really have it. I don't really care about like how the units are personally or like what they look like as long as they perform. And I've tried using her in this run, and she just didn't perform at all. Like, she had a hard time, she consistently has a hard time hitting. Uh, she, like, because the thing is, like, if you're on a bows and you're shooting flyers, flyers are fast, and fast enemies have high avoid. So if you're shooting at them with dex 19, ugh, <laughs> that's gross. Like, that's, you need someone with accuracy that can, like, at least consistently hit the frickin' flyer. And she has, actually, let's just show it, let's just show it. You know, let's just let's just show what she can do right now. I'll give her an emblem ring too. I'll switch her back onto Lynn. We'll just demo it. Right? Let's see what she's capable of. <laughs> I already know what the results are gonna be, but you know, some some people need to see it. We'll give we'll give her Lynn back. We'll take it away from a hard carry. I think I was enemy phasing with my Ivy on with Fran. We'll see. We'll see. All right, let's give her her thing back. All right, here you go. I could have given I could have given her Roy, I guess. All right, here's Lynn. All right, she's bond level nine. I don't think it's gonna matter. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not. All right, let's get her into a tile where she can hit dudes. Here, let's see how she does against that guy. Yeah, I'm sure you know why I'm I put her there. All right, let's see what she can do. Let's see what she's got. All right, so here here's the ETA. You know, this is the result. This is the result of like investing in a unit throughout an entire run. By the way, I didn't like half-ass run her. Like I ran her as if. Uh, she was going to be a hard carry on my team, and this is the result. Even if she had a few more points of strength, it would not change anything. She would be dealing 12 damage here. All right, let's get her. Let's dance her next to one of those dudes. Get in there. <laughs> let's get. Let's get her in there. I like this because like, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to argue with like results, right? All right, let's see what she hits on Silver Bow. Now, if we upgraded the silver bow, deal. So let's say the silver bow was like plus three. I think that's like plus four damage. Let's just say it's plus four damage. She's hitting 18 here. Let's say she's plus four more strength. She's hitting a 22. That's still not good. She's still not one rounding, even if she's doubling. Honestly, bows are not that strong or high in might. So having a warrior be like a damage or a bow warrior be a damage carry is kind of a meme. All right, now let's compare that to Fram, who's not even known for combat. <laughs> Look at this. Fram's having no trouble. <laughs> this isn't even one of my card carry combat units, dude. Like, obviously she's gonna deal well with the armors, but look at what she does with that. And then against this dude, this guy is very fast, but she still does more base damage because Levin's sword is just a good weapon. All right, now let's check out Panette. All right, so here's Panette. <laughs> she's using axes. All right, the hit rate's still suspect, but Ike does not increase uh, hit rate, so. Alright, let's check out you. Alright, so she's chipping for eight there. Just throw it just for fun. She's a tank. A lot of people get confused. She's a tank that can do things like that every now and then. <laughs> just pull 31 out of nowhere. Uh, I did optimize for her dex, 32 dex, so she's pretty high rate to trigger that. Uh, but this was a unit who was using. So let's see what she would do if she was doubling this archer. She would almost kill it. I didn't even upgrade her Bulgano, and I think I just started using Lynn Ivy uh, late because she fell, fall, like she started falling off, so I started running her late, so I didn't upgrade her weapons as much. She says Bulgano plus one with no engraving. Uh, and then Marin, let's check Marin out for comparison. This is without any damage increasing passives. She's able to almost one round this. If she had sword power, she could easily one round this. That's why I called that out. And then she can stack speed. And this is her on Sigurd too. Like this is not a highly contested emblem like Lynn. 
but yeah, that's Etie. I mean, she's just... I, I, I honestly tried to make her work, and this was after, like, four or five maddening runs, so, like, I know how to min-max units, and she honestly is just rocky the entire time, and you have to really dump excess resources in her to get her going. Whereas if I was just running Alchrist, he would be like a utility unit that I wouldn't expect to kill things. He would set up kills or maybe kill some flyers. That's how I would use him. Now, would I make him? could I make him into a hard carry? Sure. Could you make her into a hard carry? Sure. But I think you can make him into a hard carry a little bit easier than you can make her into one. And he also has less startup costs and no early game investment, can master steal immediately, and has a better passive that gives him plus three strength. So he kind of has more going for him. He also has really high dex and dex growth which means he can more accurately shoot these fast enemies, including the flyers. So he kind of just does everything she can do, but just a little bit better. And if you're just going the raw strength argument, there's tons of other units that perform that role better. Like, there are like at least seven other units that are better on Warrior than her. And even this Alir, who's not even one of my damage carries, has 30 strength and is primarily... I, this, uh, this was a momentum build I tried out, but this is primarily a bonder. So this is a, a Wyvern bonder. So that means that Alir is going to be bonding like these while the enemy phase. Um, but yeah, I, I just don't think she has good potential even on Lin. And you can really see here like her speed is not that good. So effect plus six. Like she's, she's not popping off, right? Like 26 speed, even if somehow <laughs> you got her speed up high enough. The damage on bows is lower than other weapons. So even with high strength, the bow damage is just kind of mediocre. And you could run something like Bow Knight or Warrior Anna and fix her speed, and she could use Radiant Bow, which is basically like Radiant Bow one shots any flyer because of its its uh, high base might. So there's really no reason to run her in her niche, which is basically high strength units. And that is not Alchris niche, so it's comparing apples and oranges. Um, as high strength unit, other things blow her out of the water. As shooting down, bird shooter downer, Fagato and Warrior Anna, Bow Knight Anna do this better. Um, and, and to some degree, Alchrist, if you invest in him. Uh, of the two of them, I'd rather have Alchrist if I'm going to be running some kind of utility damage thing. Like maybe he's like a longbow debuffer or just some dude who goes to shoot down birds with like a radiant bow or something. He could probably perform that role. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one. Definitely like and subscribe if you enjoy these discussion type videos. It went a little bit longer, but I wanted to show that I actually did run the unit from start to finish. I gave it an honest attempt. I fed her entire map's worth of XP. I gave her resources. I gave her forges. Um, I think she had like a different silver bow at one point, but even if you were to forge this, it wouldn't change that much. It would increase the damage slightly. I mostly had her try to shoot down flyers after a certain point because like she was just falling off. Like the Fram Mage Knight build popped off better, as you can see. <laughs> and she's on Celica right now, which is not contested at all. Like no one wants Celica, but she has it. Like that's and she's doing fine. And she's just running build at speed ones. So it's not even like this crazy good build or something. Uh but yeah, definitely like and subscribe if you enjoy these discussion type videos. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.